So I just finished one of the meetings I probably was most excited for, and that is with uh, Resence here. Just, you know, an absolutely sublime independent brand that makes a truly unique product. You know, we've actually already gone over in previous articles what they came out with this year, but I, I finally got to see it in person. So there were two big releases. The first was the Type 8S, which is a continuation of their Type 8 that they launched last year. This is the most stripped down of the Resence line, the most uh, affordable, quote unquote, coming in at $14,000 is the entry point to the brand. The big difference in it is the color. So the last year's was a cobalt blue. This year's is a sage green. This is just a green that stops you in your tracks. It's like incredibly soft and serene and just absolutely beautiful. Seeing it in person is a whole nother thing. It kind of just transports you to a cool and calm place. And that works really well with the concept of the watch as well because it just has hour and minutes on it and their unique you know, ROCS display, which unto itself has a sort of like so it's calm effect, there's nothing in motion, yet the whole thing is actually in motion just in a very slow way. But then they also released the Type 1 Round. So Type 1 is a watch that's been part of their line for a very long time, and it's just gone through some iterative updates. They have re-brought back the lugs on the case, but refined the case overall. So it's now only 11 millimeters thick, which is a substantial reduction for models of the past, and particularly with the way they use geometry in general. Everything has always got a dome to it, and it's very soft, so it really felt uh, nice nice and reduced on the wrist, even though it's it's already like, I think it was around 42 millimeters in diameter. So it's not a small watch by, by the numbers, but it certainly felt quite small. It's also very light, it's like 64 grams. It comes in two colors. There is a matte black, which who doesn't like matte black? And then a beautiful midnight blue, which is a, a, a darker, richer blue than some of their previous midnight blues. They actually said they're updating midnight blue across other watches as well. God help you if you're actually in the market for one of these two watches, because you have a really hard time, I think, deciding right now between a type eight and these new type one rounds. This is the more you know, full featured sort of watch in the sense that it has uh, hours, minutes, seconds, uh, and a day indicator. It has more numerals on it. Actually, another interesting thing, they updated the typography on the dial to the type, to the Resence font, which is on other models, but it's the first time on the Type 1. It looks really fantastic. And they actually took some of the numerals out. So now on the minute track, there's numerals every 10, larger batons at five. That opens things up a little. And when you see it side by side with an older model, that's like a real notable effect. I think it's just a refinement all around. Absolutely striking. I would love to have one of these in my collection someday. That's Resonance at Watches and Wonders 2023. Always an exciting brand to check out. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and uh, we'll see you soon.